Hey, hey, hey! Welcome, folks. This is Chen Ray, and this will be another Raspberry Pi high quality camera video. I know that I already made a bunch of high quality videos, but I think it's worth it to make another one or even more videos in the future because there will be a lot of things to discover about this high quality camera. So today I'm going to do a interview test. So just to let you see what kind of result you can get if you're trying to use the Raspberry Pi high quality camera to shoot a interview video or talking head type video. So without further ado, let's get started. In order to do this interview test, I dig in out the widest lens that I have on hand, which is a 14mm EF lenses from Samyong. This is a manual lens and it could produce a super sharp image if I put the aperture to f4, which is what I'm doing right now. And the footage that you are seeing right now is actually shooted using the Raspberry Pi high quality camera with that lens. So you already have kind of idea how you're gonna look like if you're using high quality camera to do this interview filming. I'll also record some footage externally using another computer so that you can have something to compare. At the same time, I'm using my Canon T3i to film this as well so that you can have another perspective to compare with an eight year old camera. I'm about to show you three different clips. So one of them is shooting on the Raspberry Pi internally using the RAW format. Another one is recorded externally using a computer that captures the HDMI signal from the Raspberry Pi. Also, I'm gonna show you a third clip which could be shooted on the Canon T3i. So I'm gonna let you judge which one is better. So what is your guess? Let me know in the comment below. Are you guessing correctly or not? In conclusion, I think it's definitely not as good as the professional camera because the sensor size is so tiny, but it's definitely not that far different. So if you do want to use the Raspberry Pi high quality camera to shoot a interview video, I think you are able to do so and you might able to get some decent result if your setting is okay. And I'm gonna share my settings to show the footage that I'm using in this video as well in the description. So you can find out if you want to, if you really want to do an interval video using the Raspberry Pi high quality camera. So there you have it. That's the test that I do in this video. Uh, let me know what you think about this video. And thank you for watching. Hopefully I'm gonna see you in next one very soon.